distribution wasa get in the know how about the dry season plan and watershed management tell us, tell us about transmission wasa get in the know wasa's national secondary school quiz competition in the know with h2o wasa get in the know with h2o wasa water security for every sector From 116 schools nationwide, we're now down to the top two. Only one can leave with the title. Who will it be? Find out today in the grand finale of Wasser's National Secondary Schools Quiz Competition on the Water Sector, In the Know with H2O, being broadcast live from Wasser's Public Education Centre in St. Joseph. I'm your host, Vernon Ramisar. Welcome, and what a journey it's been. Wasser staged this groundbreaking quiz to lift awareness among the youth population, in particular on the water sector and the role we must all play in ensuring sustainability of supply for this and future generations. But back to the finale, here are the rules. During rounds one to four, students are restricted from communicating with each other. During round five, students can collaborate. For rounds one to four, student one will answer question one alone, student two answer question two, and so on. If any other student is found answering another's question, the student will be disqualified. Round 5 offers team questions, and hence, the answer can be discussed. 100 points are awarded to all correct answers. 0 points will be awarded if the answer is incorrect. If the answer is partially correct, the judges will decide to appoint any portion of 100 points, or ask for clarification towards awarding the total of 100. Teams can earn a maximum of 2,000 points, that is 20 questions times 100 points. If a team is asked a question and does not answer it correctly, the answer will be handed over to the other team to answer. If the second team answers correctly, they are awarded 50 points, that is half the points. If the answer is unclear, partially correct or requires qualifying, the judges will ask for clarification and award marks according to their collective decisions. Questions for the quiz will fall under five categories which are History of Wasa and Water Water Facts, Conservation and Watershed Management, Water Pollution, Water Treatment, Distribution and Transmission, and Wasa's Dry Season Plan for 2011. And of course, the judge's decision is final. And entrusted with the task of maintaining these rules are the judges who are all members of staff at Wasa. Head Judge, Sarah Lazama, Deputy General Manager, Logistics. Alan Poon King, General Manager, Projects. And Shamila Joseph, Project Administrator. The teams with us today have one goal. That's the top prize of $100,000 cash for their school. Added to which, they will receive a uniquely designed trophy in the form of a water droplet, as well as individual prizes. Not to mention coming first in today's competition carries with it the esteemed privilege of being the first champion of WASA's inaugural National Secondary Schools in the Know with H2O quiz competition. Both teams know what it takes to win. After all, they've made it to the finale. The teams are Miracle Ministries Pentecostal High School from the Carney District. And Bishops High School, Tobago. Congratulations on making it to the finale. You've really done well. Now, captains, I'm going to give you a chance to introduce your teams. Ricardo Cuffey of Miracle Ministries, who are your teammates? Participants 2, 3, and 4 are Sita Daramdas, Sharice Jabrilal, and Michelle Shah, respectively. Thank you very much. And Nikosi Fletcher of Bishops High School, who are your teammates? On my left, we have Gabrielle York. Away from her is Kerry Warner. And on my extreme left, we have Burnett Joseph. Thank you very much. Once again, congratulations and good luck, teams. Before we get down to business, we'll take a short break and come back to the H2O action. Wasser's National Secondary Schools quiz on the water sector in the know with H2O, coming to you from Wasser's Public Education Center in St. Joseph. We'll be right back.
And we're back with Wasser's pioneering National Secondary Schools quiz competition in the know with H2O in the water sector. There isn't a bigger H2O event. Let's take a look at the topics before we go any further. History of Wasser and the water sector. Water facts, conservation and watershed management. Water pollution. Water treatment, distribution and transmission. And of course, Wasser's dry season plan 2011. Good luck teams, run one is all about the history of Wasa and the water sector. Let's get right into it. Question one for participant one on both teams. Identify the oldest impounding reservoir. Miracle Ministries. The oldest impounding reservoir was the Hollis Reservoir and Waterworks in, in 1936. That is correct. In Trinidad and Tobago in the year it was built. Question two now for participant two on both teams. In what year was the Central Water Board for Bishops? In 1935. That is correct. <laughs> Question three now for participant three on both teams. What was the cost of the Carony Arena project? Bishops. $105 million. That was commissioned in 1981. That is correct. And participant four of both teams now. Wasa embarked on the Collect All project of 1992 to recover what sum in a ri- Bishops. $50 million and 250 people were trained to do so. That's excellent, but all we needed was $50 million. Well done. And we now head straight into the second round, where we'll tackle the topic of water facts, conservation, and watershed management. Let's get it started. Participant one of both teams now. Name one of the most effective water-saving devices. Miracle Ministries. That would be the um, four set irritators, or low flush shower heads, or even um, low flush or interruptible toilets. The full question was saving devices you can install in your home and the benefit, and uh, I'll have to ask the judges. We will accept that answer. Congratulations, Berkeley <laughs> Ministry. Participant two on both teams now. State two regulatory functions of the Water Resources Agency. Berkeley Ministries. The functions of the WRA is to manage the water resources for sustainability and also for the protection, conservation, and development of the natural resources. Judges? Please pass to the other team. Bishops. Participant two. Can you repeat the question, please? State two regulatory functions of the Water Resources Agency. To collect data timely and to maintain the historical data series. Judges? That is incorrect. The answers I had were issuing abstraction licenses and provide for reallocation of water in circumstances of emergency. We move on to participant three now. What is your understanding of the term demand side bishops? Demand side management is any measure or in initiative that will reduce the water use and demand by to, to reduce the water use for by the customers. Not the exact wording by gather judges that is acceptable? We accept. Congratulations, Bishops. And on to participant four now of both teams. What is retrofitting as it... Bishops. Retrofitting is the modification, adaptation, and replacement of existing fittings, devices, and... A, a, okay. And retrofitting, by retrofitting, when users and domestic and commercial users can save up to... 40% of the water used if they replace their old fittings with water, with water efficient ones. Judges? 
We will accept that answer. Well done, Dr. Well, while we tally the scores, we'll take a short break. Wasa's National Secondary School's quiz competition in the know with H2O will return. We're coming to you live on C from Wasser's Public Education Centre in St. Joseph. Thanks for making the right choice. This is Wasser's National Secondary Schools quiz in the note H2O. Two rounds have gone so far and we have some scores for you. Let's have a look. Bishop's High School Tobago, 500 points. And Miracle Ministries Pentecostal High School, 200 points. For round three, we examine the topic of water pollution. Let's get right into it. Participant one of both teams. Give two examples of hazardous heavy metal. Miracle Ministries. Two examples of hazardous heavy uh, metals that are also water pollutants could be lead and... Um, lead. Judges? We will award 50 points. All right. The other answers we have mercury, cadmium, copper, zinc, and chromium. Water pollution continues. Participant two of both teams. What are infectious agents? Bishop. Inf infectious agents are harmful microorganisms that live in the water. They get into the water through water vegetables, sewage, and meat, and they can cause adverse health effects. Judges? We will accept that answer. Congratulations, Bishop. <laughs> Participant three on both teams now. What are macroinvertebrates and what... Bishops? Macroinvertebrates are invertebrates that are not that are more than half a millimeter, and they were studied by studied and they were studied about the distribution in the rivers of Trinidad and Tobago by on 63 sites on 38 rivers. Well, you answer before the complete questions. So I'll ask the judges for their view. Please pass to the other team. I will read the full question for the other team now. What are macroinvertebrates and what importance do they hold in monitoring water quality? Okay, macroinvertebrates are living organisms that have no backbones. They are larger than half a millimeter long. And, um, they live in the rocks and stuff like that. And yeah. Uh, um, okay, they were monitored by Lorraine Mirage of September 1991 and April, which her research ended in April 2001. Judges? We will award 25 points. Congratulations. You got the half millimeter part right. They live on rocks, logs, sediment, debris, and aquatic plants during some periods of their lives, and many of them cannot survive changes in river conditions due to pollution.